now I'm going to pour the epoxy into the syringe. We're going to slide on the boot and the crimp before we strip the cable. Mark the cable approximately 30 millimeters. And mark the cable at 13 to 14 millimeters. Now we insert the fiber into the stripper. Squeeze it and hold it for about 15 seconds and then draw the fiber back out. Now we're going to insert the epoxy into the connector. You want to compress enough epoxy in so you can just see a bead of epoxy at the end of the pearl tip. Then using the accelerant, you're going to dunk the fiber into the accelerant and then using a twisting motion you can insert the fiber through the ferrule up to the Kevlar spreading the Kevlar around the back shell of the connector the first crimp will be a crimp for the Kevlar to the back of the connector. It's a 178 crimp. And the second crimp is for the jacket, which is a 151 crimp. Now you can slide the boot over the crimp. And then you want to dunk the end of the connector into the accelerant one more time. Now you want to wait two minutes for the accelerant and epoxy to completely cure. Just above the epoxy bead and gently slide across once. Now you want to grab the fiber and pull straight up on the fiber. using some 15 micron silicon carbide paper. You want to try to polish in light, light circles just to get rid of the burr of the fiber and some of the epoxy. You can actually hear it, the grinding disappear and it becomes smooth. using the 2.5 millimeter puck. You're going to insert the barrel into it so it protrudes all the way. Putting almost no pressure at first. Making some circles approximately 30 millimeters around. Doing the same steps with some light pressure at first. Start to do circles again. And you want to thoroughly clean around the ferrule and the ferrule tip, making sure you get rid of any debris. And you want to assemble the house the outer housing onto the inner body. is complete. So now we'll test our connector that we just terminated using a power meter and light source.
from the termination kit. Turn on the power, insert the DLC into the 1310 module. Clean the connector before getting your reference. So the reference that we have is 4.8 dBm. And now we'll add the mated pair from the connector that we terminated. And essentially what it's showing there is 4.8 to 4.9 dB. So it's, uh, it's a good termination.